Hi everybody, welcome back again to the Euronitos Breaking News. We are going to show you the last relevant news of the schools in the Euronitos project. We are going to start with a brief summary of the mobility to Portugal, the whole staff of the project. The state country was, has been full of interesting cultural activities. The Euronitos staff of the schools of this Erasmus project have uh, spent a very interesting week full of activities. Agrupamento de Escolas do Cerco do Porto received the children and teachers of Regio Emilia, Cuenca, Tallinn and Athens with a warm welcoming. Portuguese children made a great performance with song and dancing. During the week, all the children visited different types of space, such as the Clerigos Tower, the famous library which appeared in Harry Potter films, the house of Infant Enrique, a Celt village in Titania de Briteiros, or the castle and palace of Guimarães. We can't forget the fantastic football stadium of Oporto, in which children enjoyed the tour in facilities of a stadium thinking on being football players for one night. On the other hand, children and teachers tasted the delicious Portuguese food in the restaurant reserved by organization. On of the blocks of contents this project. Moreover, we have to mention the special treatment of the families who have hosted the children because they have been very keen with all of them. In this sense, children have used the English language to communicate at other and exciting their feelings, hobbies and cultural facts in their towns. The literature content of the project has also been present during this mobility with the third part of the tapestry, the performance of the project that you can see in YouTube. In short, it has been a very funny week for all the members of the project. This has been the third mobility of the project. The next one will be to Italy, the town of Reggio Emilia in the month of February. Now it's time to know the activities of the towns and the schools of the project. In this sense, the Agrupamento de Escolas do Cerco do Porto has celebrated a very interesting lesson in which children have taken the role of a policeman for one day. Being a police officer for a day. Together with the police, we took part in a stop operation. A leaflet with rules. Safety advice was made by us and then handed out. With this, this experience, we learned a li little bit more about the prevention work of the police. On the other hand, Santana School in Cuenca has developed an interesting activity about the caring of the environment. Children and teachers have participated in a program to keep the school clean in order to separate the rubbish in different bins. Keeping of the school clean. Santana School in Cuenca has developed some interesting situations to get considered about the importance of recycling rubbish. A responsibility of the 
of the local intricacies the recycling explains to the teachers the most relevant and actual data in Spain and gave instructions to apply with the children in the school. This program, inter the intricacies, has gives different recycling bins to separating the rubbish and yellow bins for plastics, bricks and tins, a blue bin for papers and the green bin for organic rubbish. With this easy produce, children can keep to the classrooms, the playground and the facilities to the school clean and at the same time contribute to save the planet. Another cultural activity of Spanish students is connected with the magic world of science. During a season celebrated in one of the shopping centers of Cuenca, three children have made funny experiments to, to understand how things or machines work. They have also been important explorers looking for fossils or inventing things. Let's connect with our reporter to know that what they have done. The students of the Santa Ana Primary School and their tutors have become little interesting activity that the Mirador de Cuenca Shopping Center has offered them. In the space, divertir the children have been able to observe curious experiments and visit a planetarium where they have enjoyed and learned a lot about the universe, the stars and the history of our planet. On the other hand, they also took the roles of explorers to find fossils and discover rest of important monuments. So they learned the importance of being patient to get an objective. Now, maybe some boy or girl is encouraged to become a scientist. Let's talk now about other short news of the Veronica schools. Hello, my name is Tristan. And my name is Jan. We're having a food... Uh, we're having a Portuguese day. The whole school is invited. We will show the facts about Portugal and we will show the football skills. But City. Connection between Zambia and Casa da Musica will absorb 7.9 million passengers a year. Bye now. November the 20th was Universal Children's Day. To celebrate the event, the students of secondary school read stories about children's rights and told us about Malala and Iqbal. Who fought to defend their rights. Because every child in the world has one thing in common, their rights. And now, another news. In these days, our school sensitized children to disabilities has hosted the Rulli Frulli. They play drums with the children. On the 4th of December, the students of the 3rd grade visited Gulabri Natural History Museum. There, they attended an educational program. They learned about the plants, the animals and the insects of the world as well as the fish and shells from Mediterranean Sea and Oceans. The students of the second grade visited the Sears Center on 23rd of November. There, they participated in an educational program concerning the treasure of the oil tree. They learned 
about the process of the olives. They also learn how to make oil cookies and soap. The Athens Polytechnic Uprising occurred in November 1973. It was a massive demonstration of popular rejection of the Greek military hood. The students of the 5th grade organized the celebration in our school out. We honored those who gave their life for democracy. the year and it's time to know the weather forecast of the different countries for these days. Good morning Arachnitas. Well, Walton is here on September 23. But summer does not leave us. The weather is still warm and clear. Only at the end of the week will rain. This was Eraknita's weather in Porto, Portugal. See you next time! Nuno and Joana in Porto, Porto Portugal. Portugal. The weather during Greek autumn was very crazy. In September, it was very hot and people went to the beach every day. But at the end of the month, cyclones, Xenophon and Zerbas damaged a lot of coast areas and lowered the temperature for 15 degrees. In October, summer came back and lasted until the 13th of November only with a very few rainy breaks. Today, on the 6th of December, it is a little cold, but sunny day. And all the students are playing in the schoolyard. Hello. Hello. I'm Laura. I am Elizabeth. And I'm Luisa. This is the Eurocnitus weather forecast from Estonia. The highest temperature about is, uh, is nine, about 90 degrees. And the coldest uh, temperature is about 1 degrees. It will be rainy, windy and cold. So take a coat or an umbrella with you. Bye! Good morning everyone. It's raining in Reggio Emilia today. In the next few days, in the north of Italy, it will increase the cold. In the center, weather will be cloudy and in the south, mild temperatures and showers. Hi, your leaders! I'm going to inform you about the weather forecasting quick. During these days, the weather has been very grateful with warm temperatures not typical for this part of the year. Some days, it has been raining a lot in different parts of Spain. For the following days, the, the weather has been cool, has been winter is coming and the thermometers will fall down little by little. Hello, my name is Gonzalo. I'm from Portugal, the city where I live as a well-known team. It's Football Club do Porto and this is a special year to our loved club. It celebrates its 125th year of existence. During this year our city will have a lot of surprises.
Ana Felipe da Silva Martins is a Portuguese female artist gymnastic who represents Portugal at international competitions. She earned a bronze medal at the 2015 Summer Olympics in the Women's Balance Bin. She is Portugal's sole artist gymnast at the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro in the individual or one competitions and studied at our school. Nelson Neva is a Portuguese tank and Finland athlete who specialized in the trampoline jump. Nelson Eber is the current indoor and outdoor European Triplin Jump Champion. Cristiano Ronaldo is a Portuguese professional footballer who is player as foreign for Italian. Club Juventus Santos Portugal National Team. Often considered the best player in the world and regarded the money as one of the greatest players of all team. Ronaldo has a record team five Ballon d'Or. Montaigne is a female Portuguese judoka who has won multiple medals in international competitions, so as the European and World Japanese. At the 50-16 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, she has her first ever Olympic medal after taking in the bronze women's 57kg event. Fernando Ismael Fernandes Pimenta is a Portuguese sprint canoeist who is won medals and three Olympian Games, World and European Championships. On 19 of November, at the MAP Stadium of Reggio Emilia, a very important match took place between our under 21 national team. And the German won. Even if we lost the game for 2 to 1. The most important thing is to have fun together. Last Sunday, on 11th of November, Greece celebrated the 36th anniversary of the Athens March, the Athletic March. 80,750 athletes from all over the world run through the authentic route. This is not just a sporting event. It is a bridge that unifies the legend with history. A fountain of values of social liability, friendship and solidarity. Matula Porpori from our school can run at the 10 km stretch. How do you feel about your participation? I feel very proud of my participation in this enormous event. Thank you very much. Well. In Italian Estonia, there's a very important rally race. Recently, there has been a competition of this type of cars driving, and one of the Estonian rally drivers has participated. Our corresponsal of Thailand informs us about it. This is the Sport News from Estonia. Sport News are brought to you by Tristan and Jan Martin. Oitanak is a professional rally driver. Right now he's at World Cup in Wales. Oitanak is a third place. Right now! In the last week, children of Santana School have participated in a local competition of dodgeball. Some of them has got the second position. But the most important thing 
was the intense sport session they lived with other students of the town. Students from Santana School have participated in the sports initiation days at the, at the Sargal Sports Center. The activity has been carried out together with seven other schools in Cuenca and its province. The seasons has four modes. That's why golf go back and balls to the box. One of the most interesting points has been that the students have occupied roles of the both athletes, referees and table score. In this way, they have understood how difficult it is to play the role of referee and how complicated it is to get it right every time. Other activities have consist, consisted of four, of, of four sports activities with teams from other schools in the city and its province. Each sporting activity has been developed during 40 minutes. These activities have been goal ball, balloon curve, long ball and boccia. Goal ball is form a football for blind people, and the boccia is a variant of precision through with a pet tank ball that has been made from wheelchair. Therefore, in this sports modality, still children discover the perspective with, with which people with disabilities perform it. What sports do you like? I like football and football. Which sport are you playing? I play with professional players. Which sports do you like? Cuenca has recently celebrated the European Sport Week with a funny and interesting sport activity in which all children, teachers and families have taken part. The family of the Safe Santana has developed different types of sport activities to celebrate the European Week of Sport. All the students of the school, their families, and the teacher have participated in this interesting program to promote healthy habits and a good balanced diet. Very good activity for children because they practice exercise, they create healthy habits not only for physical education but also for science and many other subjects at school. Beautiful Senate children, they are enjoying too much. Thank you. Bye. Hello. I think this activity is really important, really good, really great for the students because they uh, they are aware of the importance of the physical activity, not uh, only in, during the sports lesson or things like that, but in the daily life. Uh, the physical activities, along with a really good and healthy diet, is really, really important to the development of the students. And that's all for now. Christmas time is coming and we want to finish this breaking news with a funny video made by all the Eurator staff. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year full of great wishes for you all. Have a nice Christmas holidays and we will see you soon. Now let's watch the video. Bye bye, bye now. La neve scende giù sui tetti delle case, si accendono per noi le luci nelle strade. La gente tira il fiato, tante grazie e meno male, eccolo qua in Natale. La radio passa già, le canzoni di Sinatra, e come una promessa se ne va una serenata. La cravatta che mi hai regalato l'anno scorso l'ho cambiata Immagina che bello con i parenti a cena Tuo 
padre accende il fuoco, prepara l'atmosfera È quasi mezzanotte ma non puoi fermare il tempo questa sera Eccolo qua il Natale Eccolo qua il Natale Eccola qua una notte tra tante Eccolo qua il Natale
Hello Euronators, I'm Gonzalo Ramos from Falcon School in Portugal and this is my class. We wish you all a Merry Christmas for your family and hope that 2019 will bring much peace to the children of the world. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Christmas to all the Eronators! Best wishes from Portugal Sahak School! We wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas! And a Happy New Year!